I'm here on a lovely, um, bright, sunny day going into our, um, I suppose you would call it an autumn period, but um, a very nice time of year for temperature wise, for sure. So thank you so much you guys for joining me and I hope that I'll find you, this video finds that you're all well and good and yeah, let's, let's get into this together. So this is a 40 by 50 canvas. I, had a, I have a plan for it that I want to do a base, a base here in certain colours um, and a background and then when that's dry I want to do a tree into it that's kind of hanging down then add some more embellishments. But we will just see how it goes, hey, because, you know, things can um, certainly go off plan. So I'm just going to... Uh, just keep going with this and, and see how it all goes. What I have done for my base coat, I've used the Global Metallic Pearl and white. So the mostly white with Metallic Pearl gives you then a little bit of sheen. And I've added a little bit of the Ultra Violet Purple to my white because I wanted it not a white white it's a very lilac-y white so that is going to be my base up the top here anyway I'm not sure whether I want to put any in there at this point in time but we will see so I've got this nice lilac-y base offset spatula to spread it I just find this fantastic little tool now I'm really hoping that where I've done those pencil lines, they don't come through. It's usually better if you use an acrylic pen because then the acrylic just um, oh, melts into the paint as you're painting it kind of thing. But um, it'll be fine. If Hopefully if I end up doing my tree silhouette up here, um, it'll all be blocked in anyway. So we just see how it goes not too worried about the very edges at this point in time so it's sort of yeah nice wave on the bottom to to put a base down for my shape okay that's that done so to just do your edges you can just take some off on your fingers and go around the side edge of your canvas it's just the easiest way I find of doing that so probably go around all the edges just to get some paint on it or you can always leave your edges till the very last even to when it's dry and then go with a, a colour different than the rest on the edge if you like or if you're putting it into a um, a frame or like a what you call them now the uh, offset frame type of um, you know you don't even see the edge of the canvas so it's no big worry then keep cloth handy to wipe your little donnies and then off we go i'm sorry there's like two minutes left on my washing machine i was going to turn it off but i really <laughs> i'm just hoping you can tolerate that for two minutes okie doke the next color i will be using is the ultraviolet so so this goes obviously lovely with this so I will kind of do that sort of keeping the shape that I'll, I'll have in my mind and just do the wiggly thing all over it this is the easiest way I find to get good results when I'm doing this particular style so you just stick with what gives you good results and you can obviously vary it at different times so Sticking with this, let's pour some over the edge, a little bit more here. Brightio, now the bright one. I've seen this lilac and orange together on something I've seen in the week. Just lilac and the ultraviolet and uh, ultraviolet and yellow, should I say, not orange. And it just stood out just beautifully. So I really want to use these colors but I am going to squirt 
a bit of white. So this is just the ordinary white. I've made it up with the same pouring medium as I do the rest of my paints. And the recipe is in the drop down box underneath this video. You will see a little V or show me more and you press on that. And I have a, a video there of uh, and a recipe to my paint mixture, uh, pouring medium and how I mix my paints. And there's also a link to a video showing you how to do those things too. So hopefully I can answer most people's questions in those um, links that I have and information at the bottom. So it's just a bit of white. Now we'll go over to this absolutely gorgeous bright yellow. It is nice bright yellow. I have got no silicone in my paints at the moment. I have nothing against putting silicone in the paints. It's just that I've been getting such lovely results with cells by just adding Floetrol to my pouring medium. And uh, that's in the drop down box underneath as well, telling you what I do. So I'm thinking that this could have been a little bit thicker, probably would have been good, but never mind, I'll work with it. But look at those colours. I know they're team colours, aren't they? For I'm not into, I don't know what the who the teams are or what it's all about, but I know there's some team colours in there. Righty-o. Oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to add a little bit of navy, which is a very dark navy that I've made up myself out of phalo blue, a blob of black and a um, blob of dark green. Yes, I work in blobs. Beautiful. That's just lovely. Like it. Might just add a swirl of the um, same lilac here. To I'm not going to swipe this or anything, but I will tilt it. Okie doke. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, okay. Let's kill it off. Let's do me tilty thing. So I'm just tilting it just nice and gently. It's just to put the sort of spread the paint out and run off a little bit of the excess, I suppose. Uh, you just do it nice and slowly. Don't rush it. If you feel the paint's rushing off too quick, just slow down. That's my washing machine. The good old Samsung. Playing some little music to me. Samsung must know that washing is a poopy job, so they give you some music to cheer you up while you're doing the menial chores that that we all have to do around the house. <laughs> That's my theory anyway. Adding music to a washing machine. I'm tipping it back up because I'm gonna try and get a bit more. Yep. Okay, that's just beautiful. It looks very um, psychedelic, doesn't it? 60-ish. Just touching up the edges that the paint hasn't run off. That's beautiful. Mostly all covered. It's the corner. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Righty out. Um, I'm going to just use my Wonder Wand. I just use a heat embossing um, tool blower instead of butane because I just think it is safer far safer and and just works exactly the same so just to burst the bubbles burst any air bubbles and if you're after cells it does bring help bring cells up but I'm not using it for that purpose here I'm just okay 
I'm just bursting a few air bubbles. Now I do want to do a few wispy bits. So I am going to, I think I want to, I've got a little bit of soft fast plastic file divider, but I'm going to cut it even thinner, thinner than some, because I do want to do some wispy bits. But in my wispy bits, I've got, this is um, just titanium white from Amsterdam mixed with Floetrol only. And I use it just to give me a um, bit of lace. So I might put a bit of that in there too. Oh, actually, what I think I would like to do is I like to blow. Let's get blow some bits up. So just get a straw. This is just comes in a pack, it's stainless steel. And I like the silicon bit, which is a normal bit that you'll put in your mouth, but it's good for this because I use it, you know, it's good that you can sort of direct where the um, blow is going to go. That is absolutely stunning. Those colours, if you want to give them a go, are beautiful. Lovely, lovely, flipping, flipping lovely. I love them. That's a really lovely colour combo. So there you go. Doing a bit of wisps because this is going to be part of my fantasy and whimsical garden. So it's nice if you can rub or, you know, take your soft plasticky bit through the area that's got the um, Floetrol white in it because it just adds, helps add some lovely um, delicate sort of lacing to come. Now, as I said, that prop side's probably going to get, or that side might get my arch over it. But depending how much I <laughs> love what I've got here, so I'm going to put just put a bit of paint on there and take it off. Just use a bit of the paint there and just use it as your drawing tool, basically to add some soft, fine lines. That is gorgeous. Really loving this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Alrighty, next step. Now, I think I will start with the larger balloon. The balloon is the best tool for me for getting effects in my work. So much um, beautiful effects, love it. So this has been, I blew it up and it's gone down. It's nice and soft. Put the belly button in your finger and just give, I'm gonna go, just give it a good press. If the paint, oh my goodness, look at that. If the paint consistency is correct, it will um, come out a perfect balloon kiss. But if you've got a, a lot of paint on your canvas or your paint consistency a bit thin, you'll find your balloon kisses fall in. That's still okay, walk away and leave it for half an hour. Could be. I know I can be putting these kisses on another canvas and I do when I'm on my own and I'm not doing a video, it's just that I want to concentrate on this one piece because I've really got somebody in mind for this particular colours that I just know these colours will go absolutely beautiful in their home. So keep going with it. It's actually kisses are coming out quite good so I am um, uh, you are able as long as you wipe your balloon off go back in and kiss the same spot again but I find if you kiss it with your paint loaded with paint it just can send it muddy 
but that is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And I like that I didn't swipe, that I've got these colors, solid colors. It just looks gorgeous. I am going to leave that with that size balloon. I will leave it to dry for half an hour. I'm gonna go and have a cuppa. And I'm gonna come back out and probably just put some smaller balloon kisses in with that. But those colors are just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you like the colors, go back to where I said and, and write them down if you want to give those colours a try. So I'm just going in with the smaller balloon. This one hasn't got any water or anything and it. it's just one that's gone down. So you can use some of your balloon kiss to add some butterflies. Oh, well, okay, that paint is too, is not dry enough. But when I come back, it should work well just adds like a little butterfly in there very delicate as though you're some really um fantastic artist that's drawn these butterflies in there so fairies fireflies and butterflies absolutely gorgeous just when the paint's a bit too thick your balloon kiss will not um adhere to it so it's like i said just come back, have a go again when it's dried a bit. Look at that. I'm not going to have room for my tree that I was going to put in. The idea being smaller kisses. Oh, look at that. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry if I get excited. I just think it's, a, it's just a colour that I haven't done that particular colour palette. I don't think together I've done it with other colors but that is absolutely gorgeous the idea that I wanted was this I wanted to put the tree up the side but I've, I, I do not want to do that now because I'm absolutely loving it but this was a pour that I did well it was a dip and it was only on this 20 by 25 canvas when I do dips that I'm doing for a video or to try a technique and then all these different canvases that I leave, the t small ones, because I don't sell these. I either gift them or they just stay there. My son comes along and he embellishes them. He just finds it relaxing. He'll just sit at the desk and embellish them. So he put this tree over the top of this um, dip and it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Uh, he's done quite a few, like I find I come in and, oops, sorry i've just gone and rocked the camera i come in and, and look through these little test canvases and then find that my son's been in and embellished oh. <clears throat> obviously that was a flip cup then he's come in and embellished it with a butterfly this one was obviously a ring pour i think and then he's just come in and embellished it with all these little fishies through here and it's like quite lovely to come in and see what he, you know, he doesn't do it too often, but when he does it, I think, oh, that's so lovely that he finds it relaxing to come and do that. But there you go. I am not going to do much to this particular piece now. I was gonna do more little balloon work, but I'm not. I am going to leave it to dry off a bit. If I feel that it needs anything, when it's a bit further dry, then I'll just, you know, work with it. Maybe if I do need to put a few more little tiny balloon embellishments when it's dried off, then I will. I'll just give it a whiz with my heat torch, heat wand. Absolutely gorgeous, very, very happy with that. Really, really happy with that. I um, just think that's gorgeous. So I hope you like it too. Um, yeah, please let me know. And of course, I'll be here again tomorrow. I'm looking through the camera now at this in the camera and it does not look anything like as bright and vibrant as it looks in real life. So 
I don't know what I have to do with my camera to make my camera make it look like it really does look because it looks dull in the camera. Okie doke, so there you go. It's my spring garden with some fairies and flyflies in there. I could, when it's fully dry, embellish those little fairies or fireflies or butterflies by um, going over with a Posca pen to um, pick them out so that, you know, dress them up. But that's probably all for another video. So I hope you guys stay safe. Please stay safe. Uh, yeah, be kind to one another and take care of yourself and others if you are able. If not, seek help. Absolutely must seek help. There's always somebody there that is willing to help. Family, friends or a helpline. So until tomorrow, you good people, I'll say bye for now.